Hey everybody, how are you doing today? This is Bud Brown living in Dumaguete City, Philippines. Um, I'm going to let you in on something. I've always wanted to use the title, the clickbait, well, if you're familiar with clickbait, it's a title that contains these words that catch people's attention. Shocking. Secret revealed. Little known fact. Little known secret. Exposed. What so and so doesn't want you to know. So I thought I'd make this title Shocking Secret Exposed that Bud Brown doesn't want you to know. You think that'd get a few clicks? <laughs> it's almost kind of true, though. Clickbait is normally not true, but this one could be true. What am I talking about? Well, if you've watched my videos a while, you know that periodically I'll get so-called care packages or um, uh, donations uh, for me and Gloria or for uh, mostly to help the Filipinos and our and our neighborhood and in our city so the other day uh, we got a big balik buy-in box but let me start at the beginning normally when I when I receive these boxes and I've received a few of them over the years I get a message from the delivery man. It'll say, uh, we will be delivering your package, uh, your bo box, Bali buy-in box today. Then shortly after that, maybe an hour or two, we'll get a phone call. Hello, yes, is this Mr. Brown? Yes, it is. Where is your house exactly? Because uh, the delivery instructions just say, come on, Huck. Well, here, I've never been uh, around the Philippines that much, but I got a feeling it may not be a whole lot different uh, in other places than it is here. But there's no uh, house numbers. <laughs> it's almost like, of course, I'm half joking. Go to the water buffalo, chewing grass there, turn left, go down, you'll see two coconut trees. One, is, one has been harvested, the other hasn't. Turn right there go and you'll see a, a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know, something, uh, goats. And that's where our house is. So the point is, I have to, it's hard for me to navigate them to our house, which they would do. So I just say, there's a store down on the corner, just a few blocks away. I'll meet you at the store. And then either, if the package is kind of small, they'll, uh, put it in my uh, in the blue boy tuck tuck or if it's too big or if it's more than one big one then they say we'll follow you to your house and they come to the house and I videoed all of this before so the other day uh, and I was warned from uh, from Frank the hitman that uh, he was going to send a big Molly buy-in box so uh, when the uh, text came and the, and the phone call came, all right, so I had to grab my camera and as usual, took off, or I told him I was going to meet him at the store, took off. It was too big to put in my, uh, in the blue boy, so I had him follow me to the house, video filming it all, and I uh, brought it inside the living room after I signed off and took the picture and then they left. And then, as is my custom, I open the box, and then we pull out all the goodies, and everybody gets to see the goodies that are, uh, that are in the box. So we did that, and uh, I filmed it all, and then at the end, me and Gloria, are, of course, are so thankful, and we, we thank uh, the person who sent uh, the, the box, and then after that, 
I take my camera, just a little GoPro, and I, uh, I load the film from my camera into my computer. And there's a little external hard drive that's hooked to the computer, and that's where I store all the, the film. Once it, it uh, goes to the hard drive, I erase the videos of my camera, and then from the hard drive, I start editing. And when I say edit, that means I just kind of, you know, of uh, 45 minutes of videotaping, I try to get five to 10 minutes uh, of stuff that I feel is the most important thing. And I'll, of course, have an introduction and I'll have a, a, a what they call an end screen and put a little music in there while I'm traveling or when I'm opening or this and that. So after I got it into the uh, computer, I erased the, uh, the videos that were in the camera. Guess what happened? The videos were not all in the computer. All the videos that I took were gone. Poof. No! I tried all the tricks in the book. I looked in the trash or rubbish bin and I looked, uh, that is on the computer. I looked in the camera, it was gone, it was deleted. I looked all over my, I, I did a search of the whole computer, all the programs, everything, and maybe I accidentally put it in some place that I didn't mean to. It was there, I was hoping, in some other place, I had misplaced it, no. It was gone, deleted. Ah, what to do now? Of course, I still had all the stuff and I had the box. And so, you know, uh, the bottom line, none of the donation was lost. It was just uh, the recording of it. And some people say, what do you record? You know, you're supposed to do your charity in private, blah, blah, blah. But the reason I record it is not for me. It's for the person who sent it, who donated it, you know. If they send, if they buy a red cap and they put it in this box and they look on the, their computer and Bud Brown's channel and they see him opening the box and there's that red hat, and then next thing you know you see Bud Brown giving that red hat to a Filipino, then you know, it, it's just a good feeling to see what you did is helping others, even half a world away. So that's the reason that I'm really uh, taking, uh, I'm filming everything. Well, so I said, what am I going to do? What am I, you know, I, I need to, uh, I need to show what uh, Frank, the hitman, <laughs> sent me. I want him to know. Uh, of course, I, I sent him an email and I told him that I'd gotten it, but I didn't tell him that, uh, that I'd lost the, the filming of it. So I had a bright idea. I had the box and I would take uh, all the stuff and I would show it around the box. And I would say this was in the box. And so I thought, you know, I'll just do a little theatrical or a, a cinematic, uh, I'll take cinematic liberties and just kind of spice it up a little bit. So if you saw the video, you know, when I, I, I look, I kind of pretended that I opened it, a bright light wah, opens up, just like, you know, like gold or something was inside. And then I stood behind the box as these things appeared on the box. So the way I did that, we set everything up piled on the box and in front of the box. And then uh, Gloria took away something and then I videotaped it and then, she, and then I filmed it. And then she took away something else and I filmed it. Took away something else and I filmed it. So I cut out in the editing process all of her coming and going and placing and taking away
So it just had things, uh, when I put the pieces together, it just had things disappearing. But I, I, I wanted to do something that I had thought about, but I'd never done it before. That's put the film in reverse. So not only were things being taken away, when, it put in, uh, when I put it in reverse, they appeared on the box, and they appeared here, and then appeared there. Of course, you didn't see Gloria, you know, taking it off or putting it on. So I thought, okay, that's um, that's one way to do it. So I showed that I got the box or that I had it, and I showed that most of the it was so much stuff. Uh, it was about 80% of the stuff that, that I had, was in there because I had already, you know, uh, cleared away and put away a lot of stuff that, that was in that box. So most of the things I got in the box, I showed in the film. Well, after cutting Gloria out and make it in reverse, it was going on about five or six hours of editing. And I'm thinking, man, this is just nuts. And uh, the, the video itself was not even five minutes long, four minutes and something. And then I was going to make a list of all the things I said, no, you know, enough is enough. So uh, I, I wanted to show that. And, I, and of course, I didn't want to make anyone mad, especially if they have uh, a nickname called the Hitman. <laughs> so I got a, I told him that I did the film. I got it. I really appreciated it appreciated it and I got an email back saying you know that I was welcome and thanks for getting it and letting him know so why don't you know after all the editing hours and hours of editing and putting stuff together I'm looking at the comments and I'm hoping that people would enjoy it and 99.9% .9 everybody was fantastic oh good job thanks to the hitman for sending it and thanks for sharing the video and this and that and then, of course, there was one comment. That editing was very annoying. <laughs> so I'm going to wind up this video saying, I really like, and I believe it is very true, that famous philosopher, Ricky Nelson, when he said, and I quote, you can't please everybody, so you have to please yourself. So with that, thanks everybody for watching. Got some more donated boxes that I, that, uh, I videoed, so you'll be see the, seeing those in the future. But anyway, till next time, bye-bye.